before you begin, the things you'll need is a screw gun, ISI 1500 sealant, a caulk gun, a razor knife, number 14 inch and a half stainless steel screws, the adhesive back gasket, and the pipe adapter ring. The first step is to locate the alignment arrows in the pipe adapter ring. There's two arrows, one on opposite ends of the ring. Once you've found these arrows, place the pipe adapter ring on the tank opening, aligning one of the arrows with the arrow on the inside edge of the tank, and the other arrow aligned with either the inlet or outlet side of the tank. To continue, once you've aligned your pipe adapter ring with the correct location on the tank, is to apply a generous bead of sealant to the tank opening. And you will do that by applying the bead to the standing, to the lower standing rib on the tank opening. So if you notice, there's two. There's a smaller one and a larger one on the outside. You will be applying the sealant to the smaller rib that is adjacent to the pilot holes where the screws will go. So take the sealant, run a generous bead around the bead, making sure that you hit every pilot hole for the screws. Good. Start by applying a generous bead of caulk to the shorter of the standing ribs. Follow that standing rib all the way around. Make sure you hit every pilot hole as you go. After you've applied the sealant, take the pipe adapter ring, locate the alignment arrows, one on opposite ends of the pipe adapter ring, aligned with either the inlet or the outlet end of the tank, and the arrow on the opposite side of the tank opening. You want to drop the pipe adapter ring into place without wiggling it too much, making sure it seats down properly in the correct location. The next step is to take the number 12 inch and three quarter stainless steel screws, screw them into the pipe adapter ring in the pilot holes in a star pattern. It's important to make sure that you use all 10 of the stainless steel screws and make sure that you don't strip out any of the screws as you're driving them into the tank. All right. When connecting the ultra rib or IPEX pipe, the first step is to check for fit. Take your pipe, make sure it fits onto the pipe adapter ring. It should sit flush with the tapered connection here at the middle. The next step is to apply a bead of seal to the first taper on the pipe adapter. So once you've applied a bead of sealant around the outside, the, the complete outside of the pipe adapter tapered section, drop your IPEX or alternate pipe in place. Apply a generous bead of sealant to the first taper where the IPEX pipe will rest. Once you've applied your sealant, place your ultra rib or IPEX pipe onto the pipe adapter ring until it sits flush on that raised taper. Drill four one-eighth inch pilot holes evenly spaced across the inside of the pipe adapter ring to fit the number 12 stainless steel screws. <laughs> the next step is to use four number 12 half inch stainless steel screws. Screw them through the pipe adapter ring into the IPEX or ultra pipe. You want to put in four, one here, one on the opposite side, in each section of the pipe. Once you've installed your four screws, place a bead of the sealant on the top of the adapter flange. Best practice is to use your finger to make sure the sealant gets sealed in between the pipe adapter ring and the riser. The infiltrator pipe adapter ring comes supplied with an adhesive backed closed cell foam gasket that's intended to keep odors from getting out and stop water from getting in. 
the adhesive back gasket is then applied to the inner channel of the tank lid. Once the gasket's applied, flip the lid over. Make sure the lid fits well onto the, to the riser. If you notice, there's an outer and an inner pilot hole on the, on the lid. Use the inner pilot holes when fastening the screws through the lid to the riser. You must wait 24 hours for the sealant to cure before introducing water. Yeah. Use the number 14 inch and a quarter stainless steel screw supplied with the infiltr infiltrator tank when fastening the lid to the riser. For further assistance, contact Infiltrator's Technical Department at 800-221-4436 or info at infiltratorwater.com.